Five nations are being considered for inclusion in the BRICS leaders next summit, a senior official has told Business Standard under conditions of anonymity. Now, the government representative disclosed that BRICS is considering Saudi Arabia in this alliance. Now, why is this such a significant deal? Well, it can have some major consequences, especially for the future of the United States dollar as the dominant global currency. See, these BRICS countries, along with Saudi Arabia, now make up a whopping 25% of the world's total economic output. And that's a whole lot of power and influence they hold together. And let's not forget about the energy aspect. With Saudi Arabia on board, the BRICS alliance now controls a massive share of global energy production and has a vast amount of proven oil reserves. That means they have a lot to say in the energy markets, which can also affect the world economy. So why is Saudi Arabia joining BRICS at this particular time? There are a lot of reasons, and you see, for many years, Saudi Arabia has been a strong ally of the United States and a significant exporter of oil with sales tied to the dollar. But things have been changing lately, and Saudi Arabia is looking to reduce its reliance on the U.S. for military protection and wants to diversify its foreign policy. Now, joining BRICS gives Saudi Arabia an opportunity to strengthen its ties with Russia and with China. They were not happy with some of the policies under the Biden administration and, you know, like the U.S. opposing OPEC production cuts and not adequately addressing Saudi security concerns, especially with the Yemen crisis. So all of these factors push Saudi Arabia away from the U.S. sphere of influence. Now, on the other hand, by becoming a part of BRIC, Saudi Arabia gains a seat at an increasingly influential table among major economies of the world. They were already cooperating with other BRICS nations throughout OPEC plus alliance, but now they can negotiate collectively for a greater say and influence on important global matters. One of the major motivations for Saudi Arabia to join BRICS is their desire to gradually move away from depending solely on the dollar for oil trade. This is also a key goal for other BRICS members, particularly Russia and China, who have faced sanctions. By joining forces with them, Saudi Arabia can accelerate the shift. So what does Saudi Arabia's entry into BRICS mean for the dollar's future? Well, in the short term, not much might happen, but over the long haul, this move could seriously weaken the dollar's position in the global energy market. See, for years, Saudi Arabia has been selling oil in dollars and investing the extra money back into the U.S., like treasury securities and, and stuff like that. And that's what, why we call it a petrodollar, recycling. And it's been popping up the demand for the dollar worldwide. But now with Saudi Arabia cozying up to bricks, things might change. They might start selling oil to countries like China in their own currency instead of the dollar. And you know what that means, right? It means it reduces the demand for the dollar. Not just that, other BRICS members are also doing it with bilateral trades using their own currencies, not dollars. And here's the thing. The move by Saudi Arabia might make other oil producers like UAE, Qatar, and Kuwait rethink their ties with the dollar as well. Just imagine a world where countries start trading oil using currencies other than the dollar. Now picture this, central banks from different parts of the world might decide to reduce their dollar reserves for energy imports. This means they won't rely so much on the dollar to buy oil. And when that happens, the value of the dollar could start declining over time. And here's where it gets interesting. There's this group of countries called BRICS, which stands for Brazil, Russia, India, and China, and South Africa. They've been getting stronger and more influential, especially in the world of finance. And if they come together and form a strong block, they might create their own zone for trade and currency reserves. And right now, the dollar dominates global finance and trade. It's like the big boss in the playground. But if BRICS gains more ground and even manages to bring Saudi Arabia on board, it could be a game changer. Saudi Arabia is a major player in this oil industry. And if they join forces with these countries, it's like a major shakeup in the world of geopolitics. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not going to happen overnight. It's more like a slow shift that could take several years. 
But imagine a future where the world isn't so dependent on the dollar for oil trade. Other currencies might start gaining importance in global transactions and the dollar supremacy could seriously be challenged. Of course, the US and its allies won't just let go of their dollar dominance without a fight. They'll do everything in their power to make the dollar more attractive and maintain their control over global currency structures. It's like a power struggle on a global scale. But you know what? Despite the challenges, we're witnessing shifts in the world's power structures as we speak. And more and more countries are questioning America's hedge money and that opens up the possibility of a greater currency competition in the future. And that might mean the dollar won't have the same monopoly it once had in international trade. Now, if you like this video, check this one out right here. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Woo!